If you're a cloud hosting partner and are looking to stay ahead of the game and optimize your best strategy for your business, we're glad you're here. This podcast has been designed with you in mind. We have crafted the best opportunities to help you optimize your data center strategy. That means making the most profitable business today while also being prepared for this future in the era of AI. I'm Fede Pacheco. I'm a partner marketing lead for hosters here at Microsoft Americas. And throughout the series, we will introduce you to specific offerings and programs. We will do some really cool demos, and we will also share the stories of organizations like yours and the impact that they've experienced in their hybrid journey and how they've optimized their data center strategy. As we get started, I'm really excited to have a special guest for this kickoff episode. Heather Deggins is a vice president of go to market here at the America's Global Partner Solutions Organization at Microsoft. Heather, thank you for being here today. Thank you so much for having me, Fede. Amazing. Well, Heather, let's get right in. What do you think are the best opportunities that we have for the cloud hosting business in 2024? Yeah, I'd love today to deep dive into the world of cloud hosting and explore real world experiences from partners that we work with every day who are driving accelerated growth. All of us know when we're in technology, change is constant. And as leaders in the cloud hosting industry, you guys are all acutely aware of this reality. But amidst the shifts lies a significant opportunity for growth, innovation, and profitability. So let's delve into some of the specifics. First, let's talk about the evolving landscape of the customer demand. Artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, doing more with less are all top priorities for our customers. The ability to beat to meet these business needs all converge in the public cloud. If you're a cloud hosting provider, optimizing your data center offerings is imperative for staying competitive in today's market. Modernizing your infrastructure offerings to keep pace with the industry changes and evolving virtualization licensing models is pivotal for sustained success. Embracing the cloud enables you to do a few things. Scale your services, enhance your revenue streams, and foster deeper connections with your customers. Expanding your services capabilities also helps you retain and attract new customers. It's not just about what you offer, but also where you offer it. By broadening your service portfolio to include Azure, you're not only tapping into new markets, but also optimizing profitability in the process. We recognize that transitioning to public cloud isn't without its challenges. However, we believe the rewards far outweigh the obstacles. Partners who have embraced this shift have witnessed substantial growth across various metrics like acquiring new customers, penetrating new markets, and bolstering profitability. Consider the success stories of protocol and CompuData as we go into some real life examples. Through embracing Azure VR data center optimization program, they achieved notable cost savings, revenue growth, scalability, all rooted in their strategic shift towards the public cloud. Thank you for that perspective, Heather. That for sure is exciting. And at the same time, it can be a lot to take if you're a cloud hosting partner. What are your specific recommendations that they can actually act on today? So if you are ready to seize the potential of the public cloud, here are three actionable steps you can take today. First of all, if you're not enrolled, take advantage of the Microsoft AI Cloud Partner Program. This is where we're aligning all of our investments and support that we offer our partner channel to accelerate your transformation journey. Second, explore how offerings like Azure Arc and Azure Stack and their new capabilities can reduce on-premise costs and provide incremental value. If you were impacted by the Broadcom changes with VMware, both Azure Stack, as well as the ability to lock up pricing for five years with Azure VMware service, also called AVS, are great options for price predictability. And then lastly, reach out to our team for personalized guidance and support tailored to your specific needs as you enhance your public cloud roadmap. You can find these resources at dco.microsoft.com. Together, let's navigate the dynamic landscape of the cloud hosting armed with real world insights and opportunities. Thank you, Heather. Those are really clear call to actions, and they're actually the perfect setup for what's to come. You mentioned Azure Arc. That's actually one of the central topics of what we're going to talk about this podcast series. But rather than telling you how exciting it is, I want to show you. With me today is also Dale Kirby. Dale is a principal partner solutions architect here at Microsoft. Dale, 
Tell us more. Hey, Fede, thanks so much. Uh, like Fede said, I'm a principal partner solutions architect here in Global Partner Solutions. I've been working on Azure Arc and Azure Stack uh, for many years now, and I'm really excited about what we have in store to show you in terms of its capabilities for managing your on-premises and hybrid workloads. Let me give you a really quick sneak peek. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And you should be seeing my Azure Arc or my Azure portal, and we're in the Azure Arc, um, the Azure Arc page for the Azure portal. And I've got a number of resources on the screen here. And what might surprise you is these resources are actually my on-premises resources that I'm able to manage through Azure. So they stay on-premises, their data, their compute. There's no migration involved here. I'm only managing these servers through Azure Arc. And there's a lot of neat things we can do. We can manage our extended security updates, patches, security, our policy and compliance initiatives, many, many, lots of powerful things we can do when we onboard our on-premises servers with Azure Arc this way. And I can't wait to show you more. Fede, back to you. Thank you, Dale. That's definitely a great teaser of what we can expect. Now, our final speaker for today comes in representation of maybe the best resource that you can have here at Microsoft. Adam Burke is a director of partner development and is also a member of Microsoft's DCO team. DCO stands for Data Center Optimization. Adam, welcome, but I also heard you have a present for us. Hey, we do, yeah. So thank you, Fede. Super excited to be here and for the opportunity to work and support partners across the Americas who are going through this journey. It's been just super exciting to see the growth um, and really the, the increased revenue and impact they've had with their customers through this type of transformation. And uh, in terms of a gift, yeah, super excited to share the hosting book, which really is a, a number of resources that if you're a hosting partner and you're trying to figure out where to get started, there's a ton of information in here to really kind of be your North Star as you look to continue to expand uh, your, your um, transition into Azure and uh, hope to be able to partner with you on that. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Heather. And thank you, Dale. This has been an amazing kickoff episode. We're really excited for all what's to come. And while we love sharing content with you, we love to hear from you even more. Please tell us in the comments, what do you think? What's working? What would you like to see? Because that will create even more episodes curated to what you need to be successful in 2024.